I like to think of myself as a Baltimorean in so many ways because I spent so much time there when I was at UMBC and my time in Baltimore actually really ignited what I think of as my passion for community outreach and actually drove me into vaccine development. I wanted a summer job and my mom said, you're not going to be working at the clothing store and you're gonna do something in the summer, it's gonna be scholarly. And so I found a scholarly job and I fell in love with science for that way. I am a viral immunologist by training. So what that means is that I study viruses and I study the human immune system. These types of technologies have been in development for a very long time. And as I said, I've particularly been working on coronavirus vaccines um, and knew so much about how to make a really good coronavirus vaccine that it was there was ease into the clinic. So we knew exactly what to do with the mice. We knew exactly what doses. We knew exactly how to make the vaccine and make it safe. Um, and so we, we cut off a lot of time just by being prepared. And then secondly, what you're seeing also is unprecedented in just the network of collaboration. There are all hands on deck because the situation is so dire. But no part of the, the clinical trial trajectory or the vetting, so to speak, of this vaccine's safety and effectiveness was compromised. We are eliciting really, really good and high level immunity um, against these viruses. And as far as we can tell, remembering that the phase one clinical trial started last March, so that's about a year in, the immune responses are not waning that in any way that we would be alarmed. And so, you know, you wanna get your vaccine and you wanna start your immunity now, and we're hopeful for the long lasting effects of that immunity.